Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central Creating a Purchase Order In this video, we're going to explore the steps to create a purchase document in Dynamics 365 Business Central. In Business Central, we use purchase invoices or purchase orders to register the cost of purchases and to track our accounts payable. The two purchase documents are very similar. The one key difference is that we use purchase orders when the supplier is only partially shipping our order. To create a purchase order, we'll search for Purchase Orders and then choose the Purchase Orders links in the search results. We'll choose New to create a new purchase order. The first thing to do is choose the vendor we're buying from. When we do, fields on the purchase header are updated with information about the vendor. For example, the vendor's address, contact information, payment terms, and the posting details are copied from the vendor card. If we need to, we can edit this information. Some additional fields that are filled in automatically are the date fields, which are based on the work date. The order date is the date the order was created in Business Central. The document date is the date that the related document was created. The due date will be calculated based on the document date and the payment terms. Now we'll add some purchase lines. There are five types of lines. Comment, General ledger account, item, fixed asset, and charge item. We won't get into the details of each type, but they all have different purposes. For example, using a comment type would let us enter a message to our vendor in the description fields. We'd use a general ledger account to post an amount to an account we use for things that we don't keep in inventory, such as services. We'll keep it simple here and choose item from the list. In the number field, we'll choose the item we're purchasing. Like what happened when we chose the vendor, Business Central updates the fields on the line with information from the item card. For example, the direct unit cost, unit of measure, and the posting information are updated. Now we just need to enter a number in the quantity field and double check that we have the correct direct cost. If we want to buy other items, we can create more lines for them. And we're done. We're ready to post our purchase order.